Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my January favorites where I talk about all of the products I've been loving in the month of January and even a little before that as well. So if you're interested in hearing what those products are, then you are in the right place at the right time. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So the first product that I want to talk about is a product I don't actually have with me because it's in my shower, but it is the Cetaphil Facial Cleansing Bar. I will insert a picture of it, but I've been loving this product. I um, use the Cetaphil makeup removing wipes and I really like those. Those are one of my holy grail products to take off my makeup. And this product I've just been using in the shower about twice a week just to really wash my face and try to clear out my pores. I definitely need help in the skincare realm of beauty because I don't take the greatest care of my skin I don't think but this has been something that's been helping me really clean out the skin most of the other products I do actually all of the other products I have here so I will show them to you the first two products I'm gonna talk about are these guys here these are the Stila shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows I have two different colors and I'm wearing one of them right now I have the color freedom which is the blue shade and then the color carefree which is a really nice pink shade which I use in a different video that should be posted already on my channel. I have really been loving these. They are great for defining the cut crease if that's something that you're doing. I've also been using them when I do a winged eyeliner. I will put a little bit of the color next to the winged liner. They're just really, really fun and they're really easy to work with. I actually like these more than the others. The other ones I have are the Magnificent Metals or the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I love these as well, but I just feel that this product is better suited for how I'm gonna use it, so I've been loving these. I'm gonna try to insert some swatches here so that you can see what the colors look like. So the blue shade is free and then the more pinky rose shade is carefree. Another product that I've been loving in the month of January, but also prior to January, is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This is the color 106A Light Ivory, which is a light neutral color. It's just as I explain it, it's a cushion foundation. So all of the product is here in this cushion. What I really like about this product is the fact that it's so easy to get product and dispense it on your face. I take a dampen beauty blender and I basically just tap the butt of it into the the product and then tap that into my face and blend it out. It looks flawless on the skin. The only downside I would say to this product is that you don't get a lot. You get 0.52 fluid ounces of product and if you're somebody who doesn't really like to get messy while you're doing your makeup, you will eventually have to take the cushion out and flip it over to get more product. So it's going to get a little bit messy, but I love, love, love this product. It wears pretty good. I have oily combination skin. I have very sensitive skin so I break out very easily. I've had no issues when using this product in terms of getting any acne or any breakouts. It just does break down on my skin pretty quickly as do most foundations. So if you are oily like me, I would recommend using a mattifying primer when you're using this foundation and also setting down your face. So, but I've been loving this product otherwise and I will continue to use it. Staying sort of in the face theme, I have two different setting powders that I want to talk to you guys about. About. I have been really for the most part only using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder but I discovered two other powders that I really have been liking quite a lot. The first is the ColourPop no filter setting powder in translucent which is what I use today to set my face. You only get 8.5 grams of product so you don't get a lot of product and I think this stuff is like eight or nine dollars but it's really really good for traveling since it is so small in size and I just try to use a, a small amount of this when I am using the product but it is translucent and it sets really really nicely so if you're looking for an affordable option this is one that you could start with it's just you don't get as much product I also have been loving this this is the pretty vulgar the powder room 147 matte about it translucent setting powder and again it's just a translucent setting powder now this particular powder did come with a powder puff a little pink puff that you could use to set your face I sort of just took that out and started using 
in my beauty blender. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I haven't had the most positive experience with pretty vulgar products. I have a pretty vulgar palette that I don't really love if I'm being honest, but this is really, really good. This is on the spendier side. I think it's like over $30 to get this product and you do get 25 grams of product. So the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, you get 29 grams. So of all, both of the products, you get the most in the Laura Mercier, but Laura Mercier is very spendy, but I do believe Pretty Vulgar is up there in price with Laura Mercier. But I have been loving both of these powders. I still think that the Laura Mercier is my favorite. So if I'm traveling, I'm definitely gonna be taking the Laura Mercier with me. But these are good options to have. I just like having multiples of products that I don't always have to use the same product. So I've been liking these quite a lot. The next product I'm gonna talk about, I'm really, really surprised that I'm talking about it, but I have been using it every single time I tightline or waterline. And this is the Ulta Eyeliner in the color Blackout. I actually found this in my Alex drawers back here. I have sort of a bottom drawer, which is like a junk drawer. And I have some like fake makeup in there that I purchased a long time ago. Like I have a fake Naked 2 palette. And I also have this really small palette that I must have gotten at Ulta as a free gift when I used to wear Ulta eyeshadows pretty frequently. And I found this in there completely unopened and unused. And I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Hopefully it's not expired and I'll just try it. And I've been loving it. It's not the blackest eyeliner, but it's really creamy and it applies on beautifully. And for the most part, Ulta products aren't super expensive. So I have been loving this product quite a bit and I've used quite a lot of it actually. So it's really good to tightline and waterline if that's something that you do as well. The next two products I'm going to be talking about, I'm also really, really surprised that they're in a favorites video of mine. And they're two hair products. Now, I don't use product at all on my hair whatsoever. I usually let my hair air dry and that's how I wear it to work and out and about or I'll put it in a low bun or of course my signature high bun but lately if I have been blow drying my hair I've applied two products that I've gotten I believe one in my ipsy and one in my boxy charm the first is the way hair care volume spray I've been using this you're supposed to spray it like root to tip and when you blow dry your hair it's supposed to give you a little bit of volume and it's supposed to be sprayed on your hair when your hair is a little bit damp so that's what I've been doing I don't usually blow dry my hair ever but if I do want to actually straighten my hair for work or for an event or for like going out I will use this product so I've used it many 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 a times as you can see the bottle's probably about halfway gone I don't use a lot of this product but I do spray it root to tip and then I use it to blow dry my hair and it's supposed to add a little bit of volume I think it does add some volume but it also adds like a really nice citrusy scent which I also really really like about this product I think this is on the spendier side and I did believe I do believe I got this in my Ipsy bag, but I have been loving this product and I'm going to consider purchasing this once it's all, which is so bizarre to me because I don't use hair products at all. The next product I have is this. This is a texturizing spray. This is the, I'm not sure how to say it, Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. It is very, very powerful when you spray this, but it does definitely add some texture to my hair. It just adds like, I don't even know how to explain it, like maybe a little bit of grit. And I, I use the two of them together. I only use these when I blow dry my hair. I don't use them otherwise. And I just do a light spritz on the top layer of my hair and sort of brush it out and this is really after my hair is already dry and it also smells fabulous and I think the smell sort of lingers and I really really like that so I'm surprised that I have hair products in my favorites but I really have been liking these products I did price them out to buy them once they're all because this texturizing spray is pretty much empty. All of the rest of the products I'm gonna be talking about in this January favorites are lip products. And if you know me in real life, you know that I have a major, major, major lip product issue. Every time I go shopping, I buy a lipstick or a lip gloss. Like I'm always hitting up TJ Maxx and Marshalls or I'm at Ulta buying something. I love lipstick and lip gloss and I've always been this way. So I have gotten a lot of lipstick and lip gloss over the last like month and a half and a lot of them are really, really good. So I thought I would talk about them in this video. The first two products I'm going to talk about are these here. These are the Too Faced. Let me see here. I think these are from the peach collection okay these are the Too faced peach kiss moisture matte long wear lipstick from the peaches and cream collection which 
I had great success with the peaches and cream collection. I love the peach perfect foundation. I heard the setting powder is really good. I didn't really like the primer. It was like okay, but I didn't end up returning it. I didn't think it was better than the primer I was using. So anyway, I picked both of these up at my local TJ Maxx and they are part of that collection. I have two different colors. The first one is Sex on the Peach, which is like a mauve color. And then the second one is called Make Me Blush, which is a pink color. I am gonna swatch them, but they are very, very, very long wearing, and I actually really like the scent of them. I know some people didn't like that peachy scent from that collection, but I have really been loving these lipsticks because they wear so wonderfully. So this one here is Sex on the Peach, which is that really nice mauve brown color, and this bright pink color, this is the Make Me Blush color. Both of these colors are sort of my go-to colors, so I like them for that reason, but they are so, 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 so long wearing. This lipstick I wore to work, and I am very, very hesitant on wearing new lipsticks to work because I never know what they're gonna look like throughout the day, and I don't have time to like reapply lipstick and try to beautify myself. There's just not enough time in the day to do that. But the Sex on the Peach one wore wonderfully. By the time I got home, it was still on my lips. And I ate lunch, I ate breakfast, I snacked throughout the day, I was drinking fluids. I mean, it just wore wonderfully. So I really, really been liking these products. I am always on the hunt for these in TJ Maxx because I think I paid like $6 for them and they're $21, I just found out, according to Sephora. So, love these. The next two products I'm gonna talk about are these Lancome products, which are very, very spendy, but very worth it in my opinion. These are the Lancome Lapsolute Lacquer. Um, they are sort of between a lipstick and a lip gloss when you put them on, but they wear much more like a lipstick in terms of longevity, but they do have a glossy look to them and they stay sort of tacky throughout the day. I have two different colors here. I have the color 515 and I also have the color 356 and there are many other colors that I want to buy but they are a little bit spendy to get. So I'm going to swatch these for you too and I'm not going to swatch a lot because I don't want to waste any product because I love them so much. And you'll see in the swatches just how juicy they are and they go on so juicy. This really bright red orangey shade is the color 515 and this one is 356 which is much more of like a natural, not really a natural, but it's much more of like a pinkish burgundy shade. It wears really, really nicely. I just love these. They are such unique lip products and they wear so beautifully. I just don't know how to explain it. You can put up to three coats of this product on your lips to get as much pigmentation as you would like. When you first put it on, it does, it's a little bit sheer. Like you could definitely wear this with a lip liner. I don't wear it with a lip liner. I wear it by itself. And I put three coats on the top, three coats on the bottom, and it, it just has like a tacky, glossy feel, but it has the longevity of a lipstick. It's really a bizarre product, but I really, 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 really love it. This red color, oh my gosh, it was perfect for the holidays. So I did binge and get this red color just so it matched my nails and I had it for the holidays. I just love, love, love these products. I am not someone who tends to wear makeup like a bold lip when I'm leaving the house to like go shopping or run errands because I find that the lipstick just sort of wears off so badly and I'm not able to like touch it up and make it look nice when I'm on the road. But I feel so differently about these. They're perfect for work because they wear all day long and they're perfect if you're running errands or you're going out because it's going to stay on and the color is going to look really, really nice. Samantha Ravendahl talked about these products on her channel and that is actually what made me purchase them and she had the same issue. She was somebody who didn't really wear like a bold color lip when she was out and about because it just really wasn't her go-to. Nude was much more her go-to and now that I have these products, I wear more colors when I'm out and about. So I love these. I would recommend them to you. They are spendy but they are worth it. The last product I'm going to talk about is my last and final lip product that fell into my favorites for January and that is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow, or it's called Gloss Bomb. I know there's three shades of this. I think this is the original shade. It has a really, really, 
really big dofa applicator which I love about it. It holds just enough product to put on both your top and bottoms of your lips. It is great for popping on top of lip liner. It's great to wear by itself and the scent of it it's just it makes me like feel nostalgic. I don't know it's like a fruity scent and I just really have been loving this lip gloss and I hope that I can go and purchase the other two soon but I'm trying to stop buying so many lip glosses and lipsticks because I have a problem. Them. But I've been loving, loving, loving this product as well, along with like everybody else who's tried it. I feel like I haven't heard any bad reviews about this. So that completes this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much about my January favorites. If you liked this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with another new video. Bye guys.